Hey everyone, Lowlight here. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's a new week. It's Tuesday, and uh, that means new time tasks in The Witcher Monster Slayer. So, to do something a little different this time, I thought I would go through and look at all the time tasks and develop my strategy for how I'm going to tackle them. Give you guys some advice if you're looking for some, and. Hopefully, tomorrow, when it's daylight, we'll actually be able to find some wyverns to get these things done with. So, here are the things. The rewards are typical uh, three bait crafting station, down to 300 gold this week instead of 500. Um, and our first task is kill 50 wyverns. Should be pretty simple. Regular basic ones count for that. Kill 50 copper wyverns. That'll be a little more interesting because those are the legendary ones but if they boost the spawn rates like they have for other stuff in the past it shouldn't really be a problem kill 10 wyverns while using draconite oil not a problem just make sure you start brewing those in order to brew those you're going to need necrophage parts which you can get from your ghouls al ghouls all that good stuff um so that shouldn't be hard to come by you know the root support will be probably the more difficult thing out of all of those Kill a royal wyvern in less than 30 seconds without dealing any fire damage. So a royal wyvern is vulnerable to strong steel and fire. Um, so of course they don't want you to use fire. So my strategy for this one will be to bring a steel sword. Uh, do not bring incandescent heart if you got that previously because that does fire damage and that will probably disqualify you from that. Bring a grape shot bomb because that will be able to do steel damage and which it's vulnerable to rather than something like dancing star which is fire which you can't bring go ahead and use an oil because one you need it for the other task and two you're going to be doing melee damage with your steel sword so that will be useful for boosting your melee damage uh, as for potions i would bring if it's nighttime bring cat if it's raining um if it's raining use squall um you could bring a blizzard if you have it to uh, get your early critical attack in. Uh, otherwise, you know, Thunderbolt's always good. Everybody usually has one. Or you could use Wolverine to uh, double your damage. But of course, you've got to be below 50% health for that to work. Um, but these guys are rare monsters. They're hard. So they, you know, getting down to 50% probably won't take too long, if you're, especially if you're sloppy with your parries like I sometimes am. The next one is kill a royal wyvern while using only signs. So again, royal wyvern, rare, it's hard, not the, the worst of them. Um, so signs only, which you can bring your oil if you want to try and check off the other task as well while you're doing this, but it, oils only boost your melee, so it's not really going to apply to this uh, task. Um, potion wise, I would bring either Petri's filter which will increase your potion or your sign damage by 100%. Uh, Tawny Owl will decrease your uh, charge time by 30%, so that way you'll get more signs off quicker. Um, you could bring Cat or Squall if it's nighttime or raining, because that will increase your damage by 75%. And of course, Wolverine again will double your damage once you're below half health. Um, doesn't matter what sword you bring. Um, what you could do is if you do have like a bath uh, silver sword which increases your XP bonus you could bring that with you and that way even though you're not going to use it for attacking it will give you your bonus for experience when you're done killing it with signs um, I find the signs only tasks are troublesome sometimes just because while you're trying to parry you might accidentally swipe and you know do a, a single attack and then that blows the whole uh, the whole run at it so just got to be careful about that and you can't go through it without parrying because you'll just get chewed up so that's the toughest part of this whole thing all right the next one kill a copper wyvern while only using melee attacks so uh the copper is the legendary so he's gonna be the toughest you're gonna want to bring a silver sword like a bath if you have it I do um, give you a big experience bonus, which of course on a legendary is definitely worth it. Um, Melteth would be good uh, because you're going to be able to do 
some extra fire damage. He's not vulnerable to fire, but extra damage is extra damage, and Melteth is silver. Uh, you could use your wil uh, Wolven Silver Sword, which I kind of recommend as my first, as the first Silver Sword that you you should get because it's one of the cheaper ones, and it does do a ten percent uh, increase to your critical charge, um, and more criticals is always better. If you don't have a Silver Sword, if you did get your Incandescent Heart Sword from one of the earlier Time Task events, um, you could bring that. It's steel, but um, which isn't going to give you a bonus, but it will. Um, do fire damage periodically, so that might help. Um, if it's nighttime, which you know the, the wyverns aren't real common at night, you could bring like Dawnbringer if you did get that from a task or a, or a quest earlier. Otherwise, you know, bring whatever you got. Um, of course, use your Draconid oil to increase your melee damage because that will work and it will also work towards the oil task. Um, as for potions, Everybody has Thunderbolt. You can bring that. It boosts your melee. So go ahead and bring it if you, if that's the only thing you have. Uh, you can consider Swift and Swallow to you know keep you alive a little longer. If you have those, those seem to be fairly common. Um, as for increasing your damage output, Wolverine is good for this. Double your damage once you're below 50% health. Which you know if you keep messing up parries like I tend to do, uh, you'll be below 50% real quick. Um, and then again, Cat or Squall, if it's nighttime or raining, will increase your damage output by 75%. And of course, if you have nothing else, uh, you could bring a Blizzard potion to give you a little bit of uh, critical charge right in the beginning, which will get your first critical hit in um, early on. It doesn't do anything really for you throughout the rest of the fight, um, which is kind of a downside to it, but it's not like it helps charge crits faster or anything. But you know, if you've got nothing else, um, and you've got them stacking up from, you know, gifts or rewards or something like that, might as well bring it if you don't have anything else to work with. So that's that going through all the tasks. Um, for those who haven't actually seen one of these guys, I will bring them up and show you. So, Royal Wyvern is in the rare. He's way down here. All right. So, bigger horns than your typical one. So there you go. Vulnerable to strong steel and fire. Uh, common in all natural environment types. And most commonly found during the day. So, um, this event started for me at night. So, I haven't actually seen anything to start working on it. But that's why I'm doing this now. Planning ahead. And here's your copper. Even bigger, crazier horns than the Royal. Vulnerable to strong, silver, and kinetic. And common on all natural environment types. Increased activity in fog. Fog is not very common, at least around where I am. And uh, most commonly found during the day. So again, daytime thing. Um, I don't know if the increased boost uh, spawn rates will help us get anything at night or not. But um, if it doesn't during the day... And I don't see any fog coming in my future, so I'm not going to get any help there. But then again, due to the event, they usually increase the uh, spawn rates. So at least they do during some of the events. One or two of them, we, a lot of us had a hard time finding what we needed. And generally, that's it. So other, the other tasks were all pretty simple. It was just, you know, get your numbers of any old wyverns or stuff like that. And then powdered, uh, powdered monster tissue, which... Keep your inventory from being full like most of us have. Even you know, I'm at a thousand and I still have it full all the time. So keep your inventory clear so you can get your powdered monster tissue, uh, and uh, that'll be an easy one to check off. Well, hope you have good luck on the path. You managed to get this one done, and I'll maybe do some updates as I check off these things along the way. Uh, hope this helped some of you. Go ahead, give a subscribe and a like if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.